I'm in the desert. I'm in the cent north central Utah desert. There's the mountains way over there. Those aren't the mountains by our house. We're about um, 40 miles west of Salt Lake City. And the Great Salt Lake is over that way somewhere. And it's like Interstate 80 is long here. Union Pacific Railroad, I believe that's probably Union Pacific. And there's a dirt road that we just came down. That's Cargill Salt um, Plant. They get salt from the Salt Lake. And there's some springs up here where some birds hang out, so there's freshwater springs. So you're probably wondering, like, what the heck is you doing in the desert? Well, what we got here is a big arrow. And then uh, there's birthday girl Jody and the three dogs. We're going to find a dog sitter today so we're about the dogs with us. So this big arrow, these arrows were built anywhere from like the 1920s to the 40s, I believe, for the um, U.S. mail um, to get the mail from like San Francisco to New York City. And um, so they built these arrows. Apparently they build them... And, and I think what the thing is, like, where that center part is, there would be, like, a tower shining up with a bright light shining down on the arrow. And then the pilots could fly at night, and they could see, like, one to the next. So I think there's another one, like, 10 miles that way. And they were, like, I don't know, maybe every 10 miles apart or whatever. And then once they got to one and passed it... About as soon as they got past one, they could see the next. So the other um, thing that I had heard, uh, two things. I heard that they tore them out in the, um, in the during World War II so that in case Germans and Japanese or whoever attacked America, they couldn't actually use these arrows to figure out where the cities were to go bomb them. But then I heard another theory that they actually built these during World War II, so the pilots could navigate without radio to get from one point to the other. So, depends on like what you read. So, there's another one down the road, like 10 miles. I don't know if we're gonna go to that one or not. And then there's one down by St. George. I think there's 11 of them that are still in Utah. There were like hundreds and hundreds of them across the United States. So, but. Yeah, this is the real exciting stuff we do. Look at big arrows in the desert. So, if you go to Google Maps, I'll put the GPS coordinates in this video. And then um, you can, like, you Google Maps and I look at from Google Maps. So, alright. It's all about arrows today.